mahalo e pawahi no ko aloha a loko mai kai. Pauli la hanau e pawahi. Pawahi has blessed my generation of youth throughout the Hawaiian Islands by providing us with the Kea Scholars. Not only does the Kea Scholars help us by providing a scholarship, but also connects with the resources we need and the knowledge we need to prepare ourselves for the future. She has created a foundation and an example that we all can build upon. She has set the example of caring for others above herself and for loving her community and the Lahui. Eau kopo ine kukui a pawahi, e ka i i kai ka aku no i ke alapono, i pono ka olalo a ne waha. I pono ka hana a ne lima, i pono o loko o ne na ao. He na ao mahalo i ke kuliana, ke kuliana kai ku ana a me ke kai kaina. Eau kopo ine kukui a pawahi, oya. Proverbs 31 really depicts Pawahi and her legacy. The woman depicted inside the proverb has a strong work ethic and loves her family and is always thinking about the smart and right things to do. This is an example of how Pawahi lived and everything she's done. Proverbs 31, verses 10 to 31. Description of a worthy woman. Waikume loa ya ya kawahine no hopono. He vai vai oya i oya kui ko na moni. Paulele ya ya kana o kana kane. Aole nele oya i kalo aole. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and does not harm. All the days of her life she seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She is like the merchant ships, bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it's still night. She provides food for her family and portions for her female servants. No, no, I ai a ai ai she goes out to inspect a field and buys it. With her own hands, she plants a vineyard. She is energetic, a hard worker, and watches for bargains. <laughs> She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. In her hand, she holds the distaff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she is not afraid for her family. All of them are dressed in the finest clothes. She makes her own bed coverings. She is dressed in fine linen and purple clothes. Her husband is respected at the city gate where he takes seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. 
She looks well to the waist of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children are eyes and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Aloha, mahalo e keali i pauahi for providing so many opportunities for not only me but so many generations of Hawaiians by expanding our horizons, giving us opportunities to go to college and learn so much. Mahalo nui. I am very thankful for the opportunities and assistance brought to me through Princess Pauahi's kindness and unconditional godly love for others around her. And a specific value of hers that has stood out to me is, is her priority to put the well-being of others, her people, before herself. And this value of hers has helped me to realize at least a part of what I want to do for, the, for my occupation or job. I do hope for my future job to be focused on the well-being of others or providing help to others in need and to hopefully be an influence in numerous people's day. Pawahi is a major person in my life. She has helped me with my education. She's gotten me into this program and she has taught me self-confidence. She's taught me um, to stand up for myself. And I thank you for that. Wahi's vision impacted my life to be a better learner and a better person. Her vision impacted my life today by letting me explore the different mokus of Wahualua. Not all knowledge, knowledge can be taught in school. Like planting kalo, pu'iike kalo, and making your own papa a me pohaku. This has influenced my goals for the future, not to be afraid to share the manao that you have, that you learned. Also, to help me get out of my comfort zone. This helps with school to make new friends and to be engaged in different classes and courses that are available. Mahalo, Princess Poahi, for all the invaluable opportunities you've provided myself and so many others. You have inspired me to always do my very best, to value my education, and to give back to my lahui in every way I can. It means a lot to me to be a Kamehameha scholar. I think that it's really important to understand who you are and what your culture is. And I think this because it helps you understand who you are on a deeper level and to connect with yourself and other people that are like you and that they can relate to you and you can relate to them. And Kamehameha Scholars has helped me to do this and for that I'm grateful to Puahi and Kamehameha Schools for giving me this opportunity to find myself and connect with other people like me. I am honored to be a Kamehameha Scholar because I have access to a support system that will help me with my post-secondary planning. I enjoy the interactive activities that will prepare me to be successful in college and help me find a career that fits me. Mahalo Nui. Mahalo to Kamehameha Scholars Program for allowing me to be a part of something that's bigger than myself and allowing me to be a part of the Lahui from the comfort of my home. I'm really thankful for the resources and the guidance they've given me without you know, having to travel to the Kamehameha campuses. They've aided me from where I'm at, and I'm really thankful to them for all the work they put into teaching me and the 
other future generations about our place and how we're connected to this land that we live on. And I'm just really thankful to be a part of something like this and thankful for the opportunities it's provided me. Mahalo Kamehameha Scholars. I would say that Pauahi's vision has impacted my life today and influenced my goals for the future because um, through her efforts in the past, it's provided me and many other um, lucky individuals with the opportunity to connect with our Hawaiian heritage. I would say that if it wasn't for Kay Scholars, and which is enabled by Poahi, I probably would not um, be very connected to my Hawaiian heritage at all. Um, and it's just a really good learning opportunity um, to like learn more about yourself and you know your past and how that connects you um, to the person you are. Um, and for that, I'm so grateful. Um, and it definitely overall has really affected my future goals. It's made me think a lot about the future and it's made me think of what I can do with the knowledge of my Hawaiian heritage uh, moving forward for myself and for my community and for my future communities and I just think that it's really great so thank you I'd like to celebrate Princess Pauahi because she's impacted my life in that my education is heavily supported by her and she's impacted the community in affecting how together we are I'm grateful for Princess Pauahi. I attended Kamehameha Preschool and I received a scholarship to attend Island School. I am also a proud Kamehameha Scholar. All four of my siblings received PKS scholarships to attend Punana Leo. Both of my parents graduated from Kamehameha Kapalama. Our Ohana is forever indebted to her. Mahalo Kelly Ke Pauahi. Aloha my kakoa. I just wanted to take this time to share my deepest appreciation for Kelly Ivahine Pauahi. Mahalo Nui for being an amazing role model as a Vahine and a selfless Kanaka and believing in our youth and that being your mission to support us in our education and seeing the potential of Hawaiians. Um, without her, Kokua, I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be able to get to um, Kula, so Mahalo Nui for all the support. Hi, Aloha my Kakoa. No ki komo ana ibe poki ya kapahana kamehameha scholars o ya hoi ka omomo ana ina kuleana apo a me ke ka hai ana i ke me kukui o ya o ya kamehameha yala ka ya u ibe ko ki ya kapahana a o ya pa ya kamehameha papa umin kuma lua i ki ya makuhiki ma kapapa kalo u mana o vau ke kukono ka hoohana ana ina ano i keli ke ole i ohi ia I Mahalo <laughs> 